Introduction to Little Bits. Little Bits is a magnetic circuitry that separates its circuitry parts by colors. Just from a glance, the color seems like a decoration. But for Little Bits, they incorporate meanings to its intentional color schemes. Keep watching to find out how to use Little Bits to your learning. Each Little Bits piece has a name. It tells you its function. As you can see for this one, it buzzes. The color of the piece tells you what category it belongs to, and this one belongs to green. In Little Bits, there are four different color-coded categories. Let's look at them together. All circuitry starts with a blue piece. Blue Bits are power. It is where the power source starts. You can connect a power piece to a battery or a computer to power up your circuit. Next, you will have a green piece. Green bits are outputs. It means they do things, for example, like making sound or lighting up. The third color we have is pink. Pink bits are your control bits, which means they control the power that goes inside your green bits. Sometimes you might want to be able to control when the buzzer goes off. So you can add a control pink bits in the middle, so the buzzer will only goes off when you press a control button. A very good example of a pink bits in our everyday life is your light switches on the wall. They control when you want your lights to turn on. Without the light switches, your lights will always be on. Finally, we have orange bits. They are the extension pieces. Basically, you can extend your circuitry into two different paths or more by using orange pieces. Now, now that we know our bits, let's try to build something together. Let's try to mimic our homes and build a light system. First, start off with a power source. I am going to use a battery for my blue power source. Then, I want to add a control to my lights. Find a control piece that you like. We have dimmer, we have button, and more. I'm going to choose a dimmer. Some of you might have a dimmer switch at your home. This can control how bright your light is. A dimmer is useful when you are watching a movie on TV, but you don't want to turn off all the lights in the home. You can dim your light to low to suit your liking. Now, I'm going to connect the circuit with a light output. Nice, it lights up. Now let's modify our circuit a little bit. Some of you might have smart lights based on sensors. That means some lights automatically turn on when they detect that it is time for more lights in the home, such as sunsets or at night. These automatic features are created with sensors. They sense the amount of light outdoor to determine when to switch the lights on inside your home. To recreate that function, I'm going to switch out the dimmer bit here and switch in a sensory bit. Now, the only way for my light to turn on is when the sensor detects that the light in the environment is low. Ta-da! How awesome is that? Markham Public Library uses little bits very regularly in our camps and STEAM activities. Be sure to join our activity when it is available. Thank you for watching and please follow our social for more updates.